Hey everyone, this is Dr. Scott Gray from Back in Motion, Support and Spine Physical Therapy and Pelican Sounds Physical Therapist here on site at the Fitness and Wellness Center. So in this quick video, we're going to talk about the dreaded rotator cuff tears, right? So we all heard of someone who's got a rotator cuff tear, whether they need an injection, surgery, or they just kind of recover naturally. So um, here's a couple common symptoms that we see in the clinic here that you may be dealing with a rotator cuff tear. Um, disclaimer though, not everyone needs surgery. so. Um, it is important to just get it checked out and to see if you do need that. And we can do that here at the facility. Um, so the main thing that we commonly see is when someone raises their arm up overhead, they really can't raise it up, right? They'll kind of start to shrug it up and walk it up and, or they need their other hand. So that's usually indicative of a potential rotator cuff tear. The second thing that we commonly will see is that the arm is just weak, right? So um, if we were to resist you, you know, you may be strong, which is usually indicative that you don't have a tear, um, but if it's weak and painful, that usually means that you've got a potential tear. Okay. The next thing we commonly see is just difficulty reaching behind your back pocket. So um, if you have a hard time reaching for your wallet or undoing your bra strap, that may be indicative of a potential rotator cuff tear. So in this next video, I'm going to describe one of the main reasons why most rotator cuffs occur and what you can do about it. So be uh, on the lookout for my next video where I describe and show you a couple different ways that you can prevent a nasty rotator cuff tear. All right, so in this quick video, I'm gonna describe why most rotator cuff tears occur. And so if you look at me here, I'm just gonna go from the side view, see if I'm getting this rounded position, um, my upper back is kind of rounded, I get this forward head, okay? And if I go to try to raise my arm up, I can't raise it all the way up and that's because of my posture and that puts a lot of stress and strain on the rotator cuff. Conversely, if I stand up tall, see how my shoulder can function and do what it needs to do? So key in point, we really wanna do is work on um, enhancing our posture and standing up tall. That's gonna help our neck and backs, but also our rotator cuff. So here's a quick and easy exercise that you can do. All you need is a wall. So um, I'm just gonna place my hands on the wall and from here I'm just gonna take a step back and I'm gonna let my chest just kind of go down to the floor and kind of extend. And what that's doing is really stretching out some of my lat muscles that kind of pull me in this rounded position, but it's also extending my spine so that my shoulder can function. So um, this is a really good exercise that I'd recommend most of us doing every day to the day we die because it's going to help keep us upright from a posture standpoint. And I would try to hold that about 60 seconds a day. So there you have it. That's a quick and easy exercise to help prevent a rotator cuff tear.